In this tutorial, we're going to cover the basic search functionalities of keyword supremacy. And what we'll cover here is the Google, Yahoo, YouTube, Amazon, eBay, and Alibaba tabs, because really they all function the exact same way. They're just pulling the results from the different search engines. And then we'll cover local keyword research in the next video. So I'm just going to start here on the Google tab. And if you're starting your keyword research and you don't really have a niche that you know um, that you want to start and what you can do is actually leave this blank and go ahead and click search. And what that'll do is go and start getting you niche ideas based on words that start with A and then words that start with B, C, so forth and so on. So it'll do the entire alphabet. Plus it'll start words with um, numbers as well from zero to nine. Once you have an idea of niches that you want to get into, then you can start expanding on those with what's called wildcard. So let's say, for instance, you found um, keywords or you want to search in the weight loss niche. You can actually just type in the seed keyword weight loss and go ahead and click search. And then it'll do the same thing, but it's going to keep your seed keyword in place. So weight loss. And now you can see it's going to suggest weight loss words that um, it'll say weight loss and then A words, weight loss and then B words, weight loss and then C words. Now this is called an after search and you can do that with any seed keyword. It's very, very simple and very, very easy to do. However, if you wanted to suggest words before the word, the word weight loss, you could actually use our wildcard function, which is actually just the percent sign. So all you do is put in the percent sign and then a space and go ahead and click on search. And now it's going to bring you back all the suggestions with weight loss coming at the end of the keyword. So it'll be a weight loss. So a words and then weight loss. B words and then weight loss, C words and then weight loss, etc. So forth. So you can actually do searches before your seed keyword. We can also do searches in the middle. So let's say we were looking for the best something for weight loss. Okay. And you can think of the wild card as basically a something. Okay. So best something for weight loss. We'll go ahead and click that search. Now you can see it's going to suggest words in the middle of a phrase. So you can see best A words for weight loss, best C, B words for weight loss, C words for weight loss, so on and so forth. It works really, really well. And then the final one that we can use is actually to expand on an idea. So let's say you were, let's go back to weight loss for instance. And let's say you were looking at the words and you really liked what was going on in the B group. So weight loss before and after blogs, breakfast belt. But instead of having just 10 keywords, you wanted all 370 suggestions to have the third word start with the letter B. Well, all you would have to do then is, is type in the letter B and then put your wild card right beside B. So let's go ahead and do that search. And now you can see what'll happen is it'll actually do weight loss words that start with BA, weight loss words that start with BB, BC, BD. So in this instance, you might get a little bit less keywords because obviously there's not a lot of words in the English language that have um, words that start with BB, but you can see it, it does do its best. So you can see like BBC, BBQ, like barbecue and stuff like that. It will do its best to suggest stuff. And that's called the beside feature. So the one last thing I want to tell you guys as well is that the beside feature is actually going to also work in combination with the end, the middle and the before as well. So if you wanted to do best A words for weight loss, so that'll give you all 370 suggestions um, with the second word starting with the letter A. And then of course, if you were doing weight loss and then we're going to just go to the start and we'll put in the letter A. That'll give you all 370 suggestions with the first word starting with the letter A. So that's how you use wildcards and there's four options. And once again, they work with all Google, Yahoo, YouTube, Amazon, eBay, and Alibaba. In the next video, we're going to cover how to do local research and how the wildcards work in there.